What's up guys, Iovo here and welcome to a brand new video on the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a website for absolutely free. So with that being said, be sure to smash that like button down below. Let's see if we can hit 1,500 likes for this video. And with that being said, let's get started. So we're going to be using Wix to make our website because Wix is the fastest, easiest way to make the most advanced websites possible. Now, of course, Wix is free, but they also do have a bunch of premium plans which give you more storage, more bandwidth, a domain, as well as free features. But we're not going to be looking at that today. Today, we're going to be looking at how to make your website for zero dollars. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and go on Wix.com and click on the sign in button. Now, if you don't have an account, you just click on sign up and here you can just make an account. So the first thing we're going to do is put in our email and we're going to put in our Ziovo network email. We're going to make a password and we're going to click on sign up. So as soon as you sign up for a actual account, the first thing it's going to ask you to do is choose what kind of site you wanna make. So as you can see, there are a ton of different options you have, and we're going to go with the most complex option, which is an online store, because it will cover the most features. Now there's two ways you can make your site using the Wix ADI, which is like an artificial design intelligence, you know, built in software, but we're going to use the old school Wix editor to make our site. Now the first thing you have to do is pick your template. The template is going to be the structure for your site. It's going to represent your site as a whole, and you're going to be building your website around this template. So you can obviously sort by different categories and whatnot, but we're going to look for a template that can help us make a store for say example, t-shirts. So just looking around and going through these templates, this one seems perfect for making a t-shirt store. And we're going to go ahead and view it to see the actual template. So here you can see what the template is going to look like once it's complete. This is what the store is going to look like. And if you want to see it on mobile, just click on the phone over here. And this is what your website is going to look like on a mobile device. So of course you can scroll and you can change the pages as well. And we're going to let that load up. Now, once you choose a template you like, so I really like this t-shirt one, I'm going to go ahead and click on edit. And then the editor is going to open up. Now using the Wix editor is actually really, really cool. It's one of my favorite editors by far, and that's because it is very simple in the sense that it gives you all your options right in front of you. So the first thing we're going to look at is the main menu on the top. So on the very left side, you can choose all of your pages. You can go onto your site and you can save, preview, publish, and access your dashboard and site manager. You have your tools, which can help you edit your site. You can go for help or you can upgrade to premium. You have a zoom in button an undo, redo, view on mobile, save, preview, and publish section on the right as well. So looking at the pages, all you have to do is click on the drop down menu and you can select any page you want. And from there, go into the settings of that page. So we're going to go back to the shop page, let that load up. And we are going to go ahead and go into the settings. And here you can change the name of the title of your you know, page. So on the menu over here, it can say anything you'd like. I can, I'm gonna change this to say store, for example. Click on done, and it's going to change. Now, once you open up the page you want to edit, everything else that you want to edit can be done straight through the live page. So on this page, say I want to change the title, for example, I can go ahead, click on T-Market, and change that to T-Shirt Store. From there, I can change the font to Chelsea Market, and that looks cartoony. I could change the colors if I want, the size. Uh, it's all very simple because you know what to do with it. You can add a shadow to it, you can make it bold, and that looks pretty cool to me. Now, say you want to add something or change any elements. Like I said, all you have to do is click on the element, and it's going to give you all the options you need to change that element. So say I want to change the background here, I click on it, I can change the images, the settings, I can go into layouts or design. So say I wanna change the layout, I can just click on the layout and change the spacing so there's no spacing. Say I want to go into the settings, I just click on settings and it will give me all of the options. 
Now down here you have all of your product options and we're going to go into the product menu a bit later because it's completely different. But another thing you can do is you can actually add a bunch of elements to any page you want. So say we go into our pages section, go to the about page. Here we can go ahead and change this text. For example, we can click on this image. We can edit it and change the image. But if you want to add anything new, we can just go ahead and click on the add button and add in any elements that we wish. So say we want to add a contact page on the actual about page. You can go ahead, click on contact and pick a contact form you like. So since this is a widescreen sort of page, we're going to select this contact option. And all you have to do is drag it down and everything else responds to it. You can click here to set your email so I can have it sent to the email address I signed up with. I can go ahead and align the text to the right if I wanted to. And as you can see, everything is fully customizable. I can change the theme right from the actual main site page. So say I wanted to match the shirt, I can go ahead and make the actual page pink and then I can close it out and we have a contact form. So as I said, it's very easy to edit through the site. First of all, you just go through your pages and then on the actual pages, you can just add all the elements you want and change it just by dragging, dropping, clicking, and selecting. That's all there is to it. Now moving along the left side of the menu, you can also upload your own images and anything else that you want. So you go ahead and click on the upload button, click on images, and from there you can add images just by clicking on the upload button and say I want to add a picture of a car. I just find it, open it, it's going to upload, and then you click on done. And all your media is going to be stored, stored here and you can access it later. It's kind of like your own mini Google Drive. And depending on your plan, you can change how much storage space you have. You can also click over here to set up a blog right onto your website. That's pretty cool. And then you can go ahead, and this is what I said was the confusing part. You can go ahead and add products to your store by clicking on my store. So before we get into the store, we're going to go through the right menu over here. This menu just allows you to copy, paste, and have all your shortcuts as well as coordinates. It's not too important, but it can be helpful. But now we're going to move along and look at the actual store page. So once we click on get started, this is going to be your store. Now, if you do have a store website where you're selling a product of some sort, it is important to learn the store menu. So we're going to go ahead and click over here and we can go ahead and manage our products. Now, once you click on manage products, the store menu is going to load up. So of course, having a store means that everything else is going to be completely different because having a store means you're going to have products, payments, a cart, and so many other things. But Wix makes it very, very easy for you to have your own store. So the first thing we're going to do is add a product. So if you want to add a product, you just click on the images and you can select media. So say we are selling a car. This is just an example. We would add our image we would add a product name, so this could be car. A ribbon is something you want to like label your products if it's a new arrival or if it's a featured product for on sale or something. You can add a price, you can add a description, and you can track your inventory straight from this little tab. You can see if it's on stock. You can add the SKU number for your own receipts and for your own product tracking. You can add the weight and add all of the other options right from the Wix store. Once we're done, we just click on save and it's going to save our product to the store. Now here you can see all the examples of other products they have and how you can change the markups and have products be on sale. You can reorder them. And once you have products, you can also put them into different collections. Just click on the giant plus button and you can add products to any collection you'd like. So say you have a certain type of shirt or pants, just make a collection and it'll make things a lot easier. Now you can track your orders by clicking on the orders button, of course. To have orders, you do need to be on the e-commerce plan because having this whole system does make things very complex and to that you have to upgrade. Now you can also promote your store and go on the business setup page to add information regarding the actual business. So this is going to be shipping, payments, contact information. So to add a payment method, we just click on add payment method and a lot of this is just me going through the site and showing you how it works because it is very self-explanatory. So we've gone through all the menus. As you can see, you can change anything you like on the store just by clicking, typing, dragging, or selecting. And once you're done, you can save and all your changes will be saved. 
you can edit your domain here as well. And if you're on a premium plan, you can give yourself a proper domain name. If you want to view your website on mobile, just click on the mobile button and you can edit the website as it will look like on a store or on a phone. And once you're done, you can preview to preview your website and you can publish it. So as you can see, my website is now live. This is the domain. Now it is a Wix site domain because I'm not on the premium plan, but as you can see, this website is now live. And I ran through all the options and menus you can do in about 10 minutes. I believe it's under that actually, but that's about it. If you guys did like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching. My name is Iovo and I'm signing out.